Litecoin and Bitcoin breakout coming. What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. We're going to take a look at Litecoin, then we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. And then after that, we're going to go into the Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart and check that out and see how it's looking. If you've been following along with the channel, you know we've been watching that. So I want to give another shout out to everybody that's been liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. I really appreciate it, guys. You've helped this this channel grow so please keep it up and let's get into the charts One, two, three, go. all right guys as always want to start out by saying i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is my opinion and my view of the market only anybody that's doing any trading or any investing in this market i suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research and please learn how to trade if you're going to trade um, also, I want to add that this is a, still a speculative market, so don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And uh, yeah, with that being said, if you're new here or you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button on the lower right hand side of the screen. That'll get you subscribed. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos so you don't miss out on anything. And then uh, smash those lights, leave your comments, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and please share the video if you would. So let's get on to it. All right. Looking at Litecoin on the daily, <clears throat> as you guys can see, I moved my targets up and we're gonna dig into that and look at why in a minute. But uh, we now keep in mind guys, this could still go down. These are just my up targets, but we still have, you know, possibility of dropping down from here. Um, so, so definitely keep that in mind and we'll kind of take a look at that too. So anyways, into the Litecoin daily, as you can see, you know, I've pointed out before, we've had this this golden cross here, which, you know, gave us this boost up. And, you know, we're still looking bullish, in my opinion. I'm, I'm still very bullish here, um, just to put that out there. But again, guys, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, so and this is not financial advice. You're responsible for your own trades. But anyways, we're gonna get into what I'm looking at here. All right, so I'm gonna look at the, the RSI along with the price action up here as you can see i have this rising channel here and then if you look at this white line i have across here this is like a rising wedge and i do believe we have it's possible we break through the top of this wedge and come up to the top of this channel here and that's where i see this move coming from so let's take a look at where we're at here and guys again this is not going to shoot straight up in my opinion i mean it could uh, but we're definitely going to have some resistance, some up and down motion here. So don't expect just a straight candle up. Just to put that out there. All right, we're going to go back into the RSI and go back, go into the four hour. And take a look at what's going on there. So let me spread this out a little bit so you guys can see what I have here. Um, as you can see, I have this trend line drawn here on the bottom where we've been getting support. And I've also added in this line here off these two peaks here. And if you look here, we have a, what seems to be a symmetrical triangle forming, which is a bull flag in my opinion right here. Um, now, what we have to watch for is a break down below this $88 area. You know, then we could have a sell off and come down and to the lower targets. We'll take a look at that now. Um, so yeah, we could, you know it's possible that we come back come back down to first we have the 55 ema which is at the 70 78 79 dollar range which could act as support if if we break down from here guys and then we have this the old channel trend here around the 74 dollar range and also um, we have some heavy support resistance at 72 and then the next down would be around $60 range but again guys I do see us going up from here and I'm going to give you my measured moves now and then we're going to move on to Bitcoin so as you can see I have this big wedge here um, which you know could we could get higher than this possibly um, but for now this is this is what I'm looking at and I do have these trends whoops I don't know what happened there getting a little bit of lag but um, I do have these trends too drawn here. Let me zoom in and show you that. And I get these off of 
these peaks here where we were getting uh, resistance and the same with this line so you know those are going to be heavy resistance so around in here it's going to be around the 105 to 107 area if we break through that my next uh measured move is around the 116 and then after that as high as 135 so i'm going to zoom in a little bit show you how i got the measured moves on that and we'll go from there and again guys i like to keep it real simple i don't use all the indicators and all that jive i just i have way I've done way better without all that stuff, so I choose not to use it. But anyway, if we we measure this as a bull flag pull, a bull flag here with a bull flag pull, we measure that pull from where it broke out down down here, and we take it up to the top. If if we are to break out of this triangle to upward, that's where I get this one hundred and thirty five dollar range. So. The other measured move I have is zoom in a little bit and show you real quick. The other measured move I have is to this 116. And the way I got that one was measured the triangle itself from the from the widest point and then put that to the breakout. Now this also can go take the same move down if we were to break down. And that gets me around the $72 range, guys. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, you know, it's no guarantee that we go up, but in my opinion, that's what I'm seeing. So again, guys, do your own due diligence, your own research. Let's look at Bitcoin. All right, Bitcoin, you can see I moved the targets higher also in Bitcoin. And this was my old target for my old videos, if you guys have been keeping up, that we hit um, almost on the dot. So let's go into the RSI as we did with Litecoin and same thing we have this rising channel here and we've been getting resistance off the top come back down and I believe we're going to come back up and test this for resistance again which is going to get us this next high in my opinion um, again same as Litecoin we could move down here so let's zoom in a little bit and actually going back to the rsi we'll go into the four hour and kind of show you what i'm seeing there <coughs> excuse me guys all right as you can see in the four hour i have this triangle drawn here the symmetrical triangle and if you look here in the rsi it's a falling wedge and it looks like right now we're trying to break through the top so if we break through this top up here, we're I think we're gonna have a, a nice move up, a breakout up. So let me get into here a little bit. Let's go back to the, the four hour and show you too. Um as you can see, there's a I have this rising channel drawn here, and I believe if we break the top of this falling wedge, then we come back up here to test the, the top of this, which is gonna get the, the higher highs that I'm looking at here. And again, guys, no guarantees. This is just what I see in my view of the market. I could be wrong. So same thing. We took a, I took a measured move using this short candle, the shorter of the candles here. Well, actually, it's longer the candles, but we had another candle here. Um, but measuring this candle here as the flagpole, we put to the breakout. If we were to break out up here, and actually, I'm gonna have to move that up just a little bit. And that would get us to around the 6150 range. And if we took and measured the flag pulled to this peak up here, would be this one right here. And if we took that to where we would break out, if we were to break out up, and that gets me to the high target of the 6350 to $6,400 range. And again, guys, I'm bullish here, and this is my opinion that we are going to be moving up to that. And if you guys are day trading, um, obviously, there's going to be up and downs in there, and it's, it's going to you know, be a whole different, different way of trading. I, I swing trade, so I, I play the longer moves, just so you guys are aware. But anyways, um, and I did the same as in Litecoin here. I did a measured move of the triangle width right there and if we were to break out here 
That's what gets me to the 57.25 range. But what we also need to watch out for is the top of this trend line here, and that's around the $5,500 range. And, you know, that's, I'm going to put a little target in there just so we're aware that we're definitely going to get some resistance there. So, you know, we could have a pullback after that. But I am going to put that target in there so we can keep an eye on that throughout the next videos and see what happened there. But that's uh that's probably if we break out I believe we're getting up to at least the $5500 range. And we could take that same measured move if we were to break down from this triangle and that gets me around that 4450 range. And guys, in my opinion, if we continue up here, I do not believe we will see below this 4460 range um i believe that would be our our lowest low in my opinion guys i could be wrong you know we could come down and test this bottom trend line up around 3650 3700 range at some point but like like i said I'm, I'm giving you guys my opinion of the market and what i see so now let's go into the gold daily chart compared to the or I'm sorry, the gold weekly chart compared to the Bitcoin daily chart and the resemblance of this. And if you haven't been watching, I'll go through real quick where I got these lines. I took from the all time high peak of the Bitcoin down to where it touched at the 6,000 before the breakdown. Then I did the same with this line here from the second peak. And then these gray lines here, I did from each peak on the way down, all of them going to the 6,000 breakdown and across. And then obviously I have long-term trend line here so if we look at if we look at the gold chart in the weekly you know i drew these same two lines i didn't do all the gray lines here um I, well i have before and they do match up with a lot of these peaks of resistance and support maybe i'll draw that in for the next one but but you can see what happened here and the bottom the bottom formation is looking a lot like what's happening in bitcoin now so i do believe we do have a big move coming and right here, in 2003, we had seen a um, it, the ETF got approved, and that really shot this thing up. So not to say the ETF is going to get approved in Bitcoin, but I do really believe there's some big news coming for Bitcoin, and we won't hear about it till after it starts shooting up a little more. So, and again, guys, that's my opinion and my theory. You know, no guarantees. Nobody knows 100% what this is going to do, but this is I'm sharing with you what I believe. So. Now we'll go back into the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to first take a look at those resistance line I, lines I drew from the peaks and it's pretty interesting what's going on here and I've had these drawn out for a very long time um, before they've hit. So if you look right here on this one we got resistance, resistance, we broke through, came back down, tested for support, broke through, got to the next line, resistance, broke through, came back down, tested the Long-term trend line for support broke up to the next resistance line, got resistance, came down, you got support on the 55 EMA, got resistance here, resistance here, broke through, broke up to the next one, got resistance, resistance, broke through, didn't get much resistance here, and then up, and then up to this one, and now we're breaking through this one. Guys, so I do believe this could become our support area right around the 5,040 if we uh come back down but also if you look in the daily we're having a golden cross here of the 8 ema and the excuse me is that my 8 ema 13 ema i'm sorry the 8 ema I already crossed i don't have it in this chart but um we're having a golden cross here of the 200 ema in the in the 13 ema which i think is going to help us get the boost up to at least around this $5,500 range, and then we may get some resistance. Could come back down, test this for support, but uh, I, I do see us getting some higher highs up here, and that's why. So let's look at um, the RSI, and I'm gonna start out on the weekly, and look at what's going on here. On the weekly, you can see I have the two trend lines drawn here. 2013 all-time high you got resistance on this line got resistance on the line in the bull market 2014 came down went oversold broke back through 
and continued up from there. Now the same thing in the bull market 2017, got resistance here, came back down, went into oversold, came back up, tested for resistance, broke through, and now we're gonna look at the monthly. The monthly, I have these two, I have these two arcs drawn here in the monthly. And if you look, at, this is a 2013 bull run and then the bear market. And in the bear market, I marked each low. And there were four lows in the bear market on the RSI and the monthly. And then the same thing, 2017 bull run, four lows on the monthly. That's why I believe the lows are in, guys. Um, so if you're waiting on those uh, sub 3,000 levels, you know, it's possible, but I don't see it happening. So anyways, again, if you haven't already, click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Some, hit the uh, notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash those likes. Leave your comments, guys. Let me know what you think. I really like getting these videos out there. And with all your guys' help of sharing and, and, you know, commenting, liking, and all that really helps the channel grow. We've grown a lot. And uh, we've got over 1,000 subscribers now. Let's see it keep going. Anyways, have a great weekend, guys. I hope uh, everyone does well. Thanks.